But look at the tremendous amount of moisture over southeast Texas, almost at the top of the scale, but wait, there's more. Look what's out in the Gulf. That's associated with Invest 91L. That'll be headed our way, unfortunately, as we head towards uh, Friday and uh, Saturday. So continuing to see a southeast flow off the Gulf of Mexico, no high pressure to protect us. That's why we've seen increasing showers, cooler temperatures, and uh, the influx of moisture each afternoon helping to produce those uh, scattered to numerous showers and storms. So here we go, uh, watching a week of broad area of low pressure forming it to the southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. And I do think that this will slowly uh, trudge on to the west and northwest and uh, could become a depression. As I said yesterday, Hurricane Center now giving us a 70 to 80 percent probability of development. And again, a lot of the ensembling taking this due over towards uh, Corpus Christi as we head on into maybe uh, Friday night, Saturday. It may slow down a bit and it could be Saturday and uh, that will prolong the uh, heavy rainfall threat for our area. I think it's a slight risk of heavy rainfall, but as you can see, most of the modeling off towards the south. So it looks like this is going to be mainly a rain event, even if Hannah does form right before it makes landfall coming up. Uh, it does look like uh, we'll be well south of our area. So it's all about the rain with this one. It looks like a wet system. Also, Gonzalo in the far eastern Atlantic, little threat for us right now, but this is expected to become a hurricane either tonight or tomorrow. And uh, latest forecasting does take this into the Gulf of Mexico roughly around August the 3rd. So this is the way it's going to be this hurricane season. Long track storms uh, because of the lack of shear and very warm water temperatures out in the tropical Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. So this evening looking at uh, maybe.